Hello everyone, Ian here and welcome to the Fun Guy channel. And for today, I wanted to go over a few tips that will hopefully help out some of you guys out there who are just getting started with The Witcher 3 or started but weren't aware of these tips. And yes, I know, I know, the game's been out for a cool minute, but you'll be surprised. There are still people out there getting into the game. Hell, look at me, I slept on The Witcher 3 for a very long time and look, I'm finally playing it. So for the people out there like me, this video is definitely for you. So let's get started. Okay, so for tip number one, buy a horse saddlebag. Not just the saddle, but the saddle bag. Pretty obvious, but for me, I didn't realize how valuable these things were going to be or how cheap they were to purchase. I know there's a variety of saddlebags throughout the game as you level up, but buying the beginner's bag early game will do you just fine because adding a saddlebag to your horse allows you to carry more weight, meaning more items, and that is huge especially early game, since you'll be collecting quite a few things as you're questing along. So be sure to visit your local merchant and acquire a horse saddlebag. And speaking about collecting items, this brings me to my next tip. Tip number two, be a loot goblin. Yeah, you heard it right, folks. I made the mistake by dropping a bunch of items that I was collecting around the world as I was doing quests, and that wasn't the greatest thing to do, actually. <laughs> or I would just pass them up thinking like, hell, I don't need that. But you will. Crafting materials should always be looted. Materials for potions, oils, or any other craftable items that will come in handy early, mid, to even end game. And for any other items that you collect like weapons and armor, just keep the best of the best and anything that's not of use, sell it to a merchant or I believe you can sell it to a blacksmith as well. Because you can't go wrong making more money. For tip number three, craft potions. I know at the start of the game you're only able to craft like a few of them but as you level up, you'll be able to obtain more and much better potions, but for now, craft the ones you can because it's going to help you be more efficient fighting bosses and completing quests. For me at level 7, I was able to craft potions like black blood, cat, or white honey, and other ones that were not that bad. And they do work, trust me. So that's why I was telling you to loot everything you see, especially crafting materials. So stock up on those potions. Tip number four, learn the sign abilities, but more importantly, learn what sign affects what monster. From what I remember, you'll be able to learn the different sign abilities at the very beginning of the game, but learning what sign deals the most damage to the specific monster is what we're really looking for here. Once you fight a monster, you'll be able to see what sign they're weak to, and this is super useful. That way, you'll be better prepared for each encounter you face. Because you don't want to be like me while well, in a fight, scrolling through my sign abilities to see what affects the monster because I died quite a few times from that. So get familiar with these sign abilities. And finally, tip number five, the most important but sometimes the most forgettable one, make sure to save your progress frequently. I know for me and most of you guys out there have gotten real comfortable with the games having autosaves. And I know Witcher 3 has an autosave, I think? But I wouldn't depend on that. Saving your progress after a quest or a boss fight just gives you that reassurance. Yeah, I'm that guy that types out a paper and saves like 20 times before taking a break or completing my assignment. So, <laughs> save, save, save. And that's about it for my TED Talk. The 5 tips to do from the start. Oh yeah, and one bonus tip I totally forgot to mention. Whenever you enter a quest, a mission, a cave, the water, the tree, anything of any sort before you get into battle, make sure to meditate. Because meditating replenishes your health and I believe your potions as well. So make sure to meditate before you get into battle. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like on it and hey, subscribe to the channel. Stay positive out there and until next time, peace out.